Welcome back to NM Serena. In this video, we are going to discuss the consumer price index numbers. The index numbers are generally designed to represent the average change in the prices paid by the ultimate consumers for specialized goods and services over a period of time. And as these index numbers are related with the change in prices which the ultimate consumers would have to pay for their consumption pattern. So these index numbers are called consumer price index numbers. The consumer price index numbers are also called standard of living index, cost of living index, price of living index, retail price index. And these index numbers measure the effects of the living conditions of different classes of people for any change in the price level over a period of time. As the consumption pattern of a different classes of consumers differ and even with the change in place, the consumption pattern changes within the same class of consumers. So, separate cost of living index numbers are constructed for the different classes of consumers at different places. Now the items on which the money is spent by the consumers are normally classified into certain groups and these groups are well defined groups. They are food, clothing, fuel and lighting, house rent and miscellaneous expenses. The consumer price index numbers are very useful for day-to-day -day life and are utilized in various ways and purposes like fixation of wages or salaries, that is the salaries, the dearness allowances, etc. of the employees or the working class are generally readjusted according to the consumer price index. And they also help in the policy formulation. The price policy of the government is generally formulated according to the trends of the consumer price index. Hence, this index provides the practical guidance to the government in the field of pricing policies. And these indices are extremely helpful in determining the purchasing power of money and thereby determining the uh, real income of a particular group of persons. These are uh, related as uh, purchasing power of money and the real wages. The purchasing power of money is actually 1 divided by the cost of living index number. And the real wages is uh, uh, money wages divided by cost of living index into 100. That is how uh, these uh, constructs are calculated. And then it also um, supports in analyzing the market. The cost of living index numbers facilitate the analysis of the markets of uh, particular goods and services. The consumer price index numbers are constructed using two methods namely aggregate expenditure method and family budget method. And uh, first of all, let us discuss the aggregate expenditure method. This method is uh, exactly the same as the last year's method that we have discussed earlier in the other video where we have discussed the weighted price index numbers. The formula is consumer price index is equal to sigma P1Q0 divided by sigma P0Q0 into 100. And according to the family budget method, the formula to find the consumer price index is sigma IV divided by sigma V. And the I is P1 by P0 into 100 and V is the weight or P0 Q0. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, subscribe the channel.